Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 9th of January 2020, rather, 2020 um, and the time has just gone 11.20 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar, the dollar cat. And if you take a look at the price action for the last few months, we can see that it's been in a fairly clear downward trend. Uh, we can see here um, that in late December it broke below this trend line, which previously acted as fairly decent support. And in fact, in on New Year's Eve, it fell down to a level uh, last seen 14 months previous. So in a 14 month low, not that long ago. But since then, we've seen a bit of a rebound. Uh, and this video is just talking about the possibility of the market potentially moving back up uh, towards the kind of 131 level, or perhaps even towards this, this uh, trend, trend line here, or could it be a possibility that this is just a short-term bounce before the next move to the downside? Like I was saying, recently the market has been in a very clear uh, downward trend, but if you take a look on the price action on the New Year's Eve at 31st of December, we could notice there's a fairly long wick on the candle, uh, this daily candle, and that suggests indecision. And then if you look at the price action after that, the market was trading in a relatively small range. And if you take a look at this candle here, the daily candle from Tuesday the 7th of January, we can see that it appears to look like a bullish engulfing candle. Uh, and since then, we've had the market push on higher. Now, just for, for those of you who are unfamiliar with technical analysis or the, the term bullish engulfing, this is a textbook example of it here, whereby the market's in a downward trend. We can see here that this on this upward candle here, uh, this textbook example, it doesn't always be an absolutely perfect example in reality, but a textbook example, the market here opens below the previous day's close, but then it manages to close above the previous day's open. So the body of the candle here completely engulfs the body of the previous session. And then we can see the market begins to kind of push on higher. That's the confirmation that the market has moved on from moving upward from that point. Um, so I suspect this is the possibility that this candle that we saw here on Tuesday the 7th could be a bullish engulfing. And since then, we've seen the market move high, which adds weight to the argument that it is a bullish engulfing. And like I said, previous to that, on New Year's Eve, we had some indecision here. This could be a sign that the market is, um, is, is re rebounding. Not to say that it make a full correction, but it could press on higher in the near term. Also, if you take a look at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, as the market's been moving higher, it's been a steady drop off in negative momentum. So for the time being, it seems that the momentum is with buyers. So if we do press on higher from here in the near term, we could look at retesting this area here in around one spot 31, one spot 31.10. And if we go beyond that, we could potentially head back up towards this trend line here. Uh, which will come into play in around 131.60 there thereabouts and if you do manage to actually push above the trend line and hold above it that could be a sign that the kind of more recent downward trend has come to an end or alternatively we could see the market have a, a, a near term bounce back where it runs into resistance in around here or perhaps the trend line itself and then looks to head back down towards 130 big psychology number on a few and if you take out the recent lows in at one spot 29.51, that could set us on the on track for one spot 29.26, that area there thereabouts. Now, if you are going to be trading the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar, please keep in mind that later today at um, 13.30 GMT, we have the US jobless claims, and we also have the US, uh, sorry, apologies, we also have the Canadian building permits figures. That can add some volatility to the markets. And tomorrow, uh, we have the all-important U.S. non-farm payroll figures and also the Canadian employment numbers. And they're both coming out at 13.30 GNT tomorrow. And on top of that, uh, just to remind you, um, I'm hosting a webinar tomorrow covering the non-farm payrolls report. I'll also be giving a shout out to the Canadian numbers as well. And you can sign up for this webinar on our website if you go to cmcmarkets.com under insights and under webinars and events you will you'll, you'll find the uh, the webinar here it begins tomorrow at 13 15 gmt so the numbers come out at 13 30 so we're talking about uh what what's going on in the markets 
reading out the numbers, reacting to the numbers, and then to discussing what potential price action from there. Um, thank you for listening to this video, and please tune into our webinar tomorrow, and please continue listening to our videos. Thank you very much.